Never woke enough. This is almost breaking, Bridget. The video comparing the Russian army to the U.S. army goes viral. Okay, A, Russians are hot. (laughs) And now I understand why I can smell them. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, no, we cut that out of the the main. No one knows what you're talking about. Oh, too (laughs) bad. Looks like you're going to have to go subscribe to understand that joke. But our our in-house fetishy subscribers know what I'm talking about. They're raffling right now. Oh, man, that video. The Russian and the working out. It's going to be my porn. That video made me want to go join the Russian army. Yeah. <laughs> and then it was cut with the cartoon <laughs> that the army put out. It begins in California with a little girl raised by two moms. On YouTube, they had to disable the comments because it was getting ratioed and it got 36,000 at the time of somebody writing the article about it. It got 36,000 dislikes and like 500 likes. Yeah. It was just getting destroyed. I like to think I've been defending freedom from an early age. I don't know about you guys, but after I saw that cartoon video of a young woman with lesbian moms, I feel safer already. After meeting with an army recruiter, I found it. A way to prove my inner strength. (laughs) It's just the fact that it was a cartoon and the army trying to go woke is not a good look. I wouldn't trust these people to guard a Trader Joe's. (laughs) I take back every time I said we needed a war. (laughs) Yes, because we're going to clearly we're going to lose it. And I realize I sound like Ted Cruz, the lunatic when I say this, but I don't think it's too outside of the mainstream to say we don't really care if our army is woke. (laughs) Yeah. Women in the military was a mistake. (laughs) I blame this all on Demi Moore for lying, lying to us about the fact that women can be Navy SEALs. I can't. (laughs) Don't do it. Don't do it. I'll kill you, O'Neill. Is this supposed to inspire our enemies? I feel like our enemies looked at this and they were like, well, I feel inspired. I feel like China looked at this video and they upped their long-term plan by 20 years. <laughs> they said they were trying to get Gen Z to join the army. Right. Like, we want those purple-haired pansies <laughs> guarding our borders. This is not good. No. This is not good. This whole show is about sh- that's like, well, this is disturbing. No, we've unleashed a genie of which we don't know how self-destructive it is. Yeah. That's the problem with all this crap, is that it's basically, so. oh, I can't imagine why people who have been trained to believe that America is a failed state and it's also an imperial colonizing nation would ever want to fight in the army or have any pride in their country. Uh-huh. 